How can you travel the world for free for a year? How is this possible? Um, a lot of people don't think that it's possible to do that. Well, it is. I mean, even if you have, even if you have money, you can totally travel the world for free. So in this video, we're going to be going over how to travel the world for free for an entire year. So in this video, we're going to be going over how to travel the world for free for an entire year. Now, you may not think that it's possible to travel the world at all for free, but you'll be you'll be surprised like you can definitely if you can get to the continent you're trying to go to or if you live in that continent um, you can definitely travel for free say you live in the united states there's a ton of cool states to travel to or if you live in south america or if you live in central america or if you're going from the united states to canada or to central america or if you're going from germany to france or to spain or to you know different countries around europe how can you travel for free? Well, the first thing you can do is say, you know, you, you're, you're living wherever you're living and you decide, hey, I wanna leave, I wanna go travel for a month, I wanna go travel for a year. How, how am I gonna do this? So what you can do is you can pack a bag, don't pack too much, but what you can do is you can take your, you know, all your stuff on your back, you know, start in the morning, be like, all right, I'm in Berlin, Germany, and I want to go to, um, Barcelona, Spain. So you hitchhike. You just you just get going. You um, you can hitchhike and then you can try to get your way to Spain. Maybe you don't make it there. Maybe you stop in France. Maybe you go somewhere else. Maybe you go to um, I don't know Ukraine or you know a bunch of other places in Europe. Or you're in the United States. You make it up to Montreal or you get down to Mexico or wherever it is. And what you can do is you can go to a hostel and you're like, huh. Well, don't you need money to go for pay for hostel? You do usually, but if in advance, if you go to Google, you can search online and you can find a lot of different sites that you can go volunteer at hostels. You can go volunteer volunteer worldwide. So if you go online, you can go and check out a, a bunch of different places where you can volunteer at hostels. And if before you go on the trip, you have your destination, be like, cool. I'm going to hitchhike or I'm going to find a way or get a ride through somebody I know to this place and say it's across the country or it's in another country, wherever it is you're traveling, wherever it is you're traveling. And so if you go on um, volunteer worldwide or volunteer hostels, there's a bunch of different sites. If you just search how to volunteer at a hostel on Google, a um, bunch of them will pop up and you can find the perfect hostel for you. I would recommend going to Hostel World, picking out a hostel. Better yet, if you've been to a hostel before that you really liked um, on a previous trip or that someone recommends, maybe try volunteering there. And generally, what you can do is you generally work at the hostel for about 20 hours a 20 hours a week, which is not much at all. You're volunteering at either a bar or the reception or doing making beds, you know, some some little task or job, maybe making breakfast or you know cleaning up or something. But it's 20 hours a week. So you're working a little bit, but say you decide to stay in this place for a month, you can go volunteer there, stay there for a month or two, and then um, they pay for your food, they give you a place to sleep. Oftentimes they'll let you have free drinks or discounts on drinks at the bar, if they have a bar there. Um, I'd recommend finding a hostel with a cool social life, because then you can get to know so many people at the hostel, you can meet people who are traveling through that hostel from other countries or from different places in the country, and it's just, it's so cool because you literally didn't pay a single penny. You got your bag, you got your stuff, you volunteered and found a place online, you went there, you have a place to stay, you have food, you have so many people to meet, talk to, and I mean, even if you have a little bit of money, that helps out great, because then you need to get you know some toothbrush or toothpaste here, you can do that, or you, if you play an instrument, a lot of hostels have music, uh, your instruments, and you can borrow that instrument, go play on the street, go make a couple hundred bucks, you know, pay for little things that you need to. But if you're already kind of a minimalist and you can, you know, live off of the stuff that you already have, and then, you know, you can try to, uh, I don't know, maybe barter. A lot of, a lot of hostels have lost and found, so you can trade for stuff in there or get some stuff out of there. But basically, 
if you want to go see a country or see a big city, you can stay there for a month and then hitchhike to the next place. If you can get over to Europe or if you can get to the United States, depending where you live, or you're just doing it in your home continent, um, you can start in, say, Chicago and go over to New York, go there for a month, go to Montreal for a month, go down to, I don't know, um, Texas or Mexico, Guatemala. You can just work your way through different places. Um, some countries you might need to pay for visas, but if you plan on countries that you don't need to pay for visas, depending on your passport, you can do it for free 100%. And you can spend a month in a different hostel in a different state or a different country every single month and be traveling for an entire year, two years, three years, four years, five years. You could literally do this for the rest of your life. You could travel for the rest of your life basically free. I mean, you're, you're giving, you are giving a little bit of your time, you're not giving any money, but you're giving a little bit of your time away, and you're getting a place to stay, you're getting food, you're getting, it's just like, it's such a blessing to be able to do stuff like this, and I know this is kind of a short video, but that's just like, that's how you can travel the world and not pay a dime, you don't have to pay a penny. That covers your food, that covers your transportation, that covers your lodging, and you know, social life. I mean. What, what more than you do you need? If you can teach English online, you can make money doing that. There's a ton of different ways you can make you know, some extra income online or you know, playing music or stuff in the streets, but you can totally travel the world for a year or 10 years, or do whatever it is you want to do. If you feel stuck, depressed, or you just want to get out and go explore and do different things, this is one way you can do it. And you'll meet the coolest people, you'll make the best of friends, you'll learn some new languages, you'll just it's just the best way to thrive and explore. I definitely recommend doing it. If you guys like this video or have any other recommendations, um, just put in the comments. I would love to get video suggestions because I'm trying to make a list of like 50 or so videos that I can make um, besides the travel vlogs that I am making currently. As you watch this video, I am in the process of making some sick travel vlogs. I'm going to be either in the Philippines, Hawaii, Japan. I might be in Taiwan or Korea right now, but Guys, it's gonna be it's gonna be a sick next six months. I'll be traveling for the next six to twelve months, uh, hopefully longer. We'll see how it goes. And if you guys want to tag along for the journey, just subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell icon, and you'll be notified every single time that I post a video. And I post three days a week. Sorry, right, guys. Peace out. NST. Never stop traveling.